guys, Christy here from Sweet Girl Designs. I'm back again with another process video for this Heritage album that I am working on. This is video three, and I anticipate that there's probably going to be another three videos after this. It's a little bit slower going than I had anticipated. So here we are. We're still on photos from when my husband's family is in Holland so this is uh, there's gonna start being photos of his father uh, my father-in-law but right now pictured are uh, my husband's uh, grandparents and their uh, eldest children so in total there is nine children uh, in the family and my husband's father is kind of in the middle uh, of that group. So uh, I'm just going through and embellishing as I have been. So I'm using the Jen Hadfield Simple Life Collection, which I picked up from Paper Issues. I had started with a 6x6 paper pad. Uh, about seven or eight 12 by 12 papers, uh, the ephemera pack, the tiny word stickers, and the 6 by 12 sticker sheet. And I'm trying to stretch them uh, to complete the album. So I'm trying not to go too heavy with embellishments. I'm keeping it pretty simple. And so here I had a strip of 2 by 6 paper uh, that I had left over from when I cut down the 6 by 6 paper pad. So I just added the black and white stripe to the wood grain paper just to kind of add some interest. Added an ephemera piece uh, with the flower in the milk jug there and uh, cut apart from the 6 by 6 paper pad and then I just cut a scrap piece of paper in behind. Now when I had attached those uh, pieces or that cluster to the card there was kind of this weird gap at the top of the cut apart so I just added um, uh, Star Brad that's kind of a antique finish that I got from an Allie Edwards kit and then I just added two of those to the card just to add some extra interest. Now the labels that I'm using I cut on my Silhouette Cameo. I have a tutorial about those and I also did my journaling in the Silhouette software so uh, you can see a little bit more about that in the tutorial and I'll also link that in the description box below along with the first two videos in this series. So with the, with the labels, I'm attaching most of them directly to the photos but if space allows, I will uh, attach it to the card or sometimes the photo just doesn't lend well to a label so for example that bottom photo there the colored one of the four children uh, there wasn't really a, a space where I could put it like, I just I don't like covering up um, parts of the photo so if I was to put the label there in the bottom right hand corner it, it kind of would cover the book and it would kind of just take away from the photo so I didn't want to do that so I added it on the card above, which I mean there's tons of space. So, And I have tons of filler cards in this album, and I'm kind of running out of ideas of how to fill them. Uh, again, just trying to stretch my ephemera. So I, uh, I have brought out some acetate pieces from my stash. This one is from Heidi Swamp, and it just says shine. It's gold. I know it's kind of hard to see uh, in the video, but it is a gold. And so I, again, I'm adding a label to the filler card instead of to the photo, especially because that uh, label is so long uh, and has lots of names on it it goes with the photo above it and there was really no spot to put it without covering someone's face so I just use my tiny attacher oh there's a little cameo from Nora <laughs> her little hand there but um, uh, I use my tiny attacher to attach the acetate and then I use a tiny word sticker and a label and now that we're moving on we're kind of uh, nearing the 60s part of this album and once we get there there's a lot of photos that are 4x4 four four. and so this photo here started off as a 4x4 four four, but there was a lot of kind of negative space so I decided to trim it down to be a 3x3 three three, just so that you can see more of the pattern paper and again I'm using um, a 2x6 strip of paper that I have left over just to add some more interesting color to that filler card. I matted the photo onto the lemon pattern paper which is a yellow and uh, just to bring in some more color and more yellow to that side of the layout. 
and added a label. I affixed the photo kind of at a slant just to add some more interest. But for the most part, it's really plain Jane and simple. And uh, now I'm on to this seed package that says thank you so very much or something, which does not fit with the album at all. But I just really like the greenery in the pack and like the black as well. And uh, so I opt to cover up the phrase just with a scrap piece of paper and a label. And... Uh, that was pretty simple and I think I'm going to bring in some more enamel dots here. I'm going to use some in yellow just to bring in some yellow from the floral on the right hand side. So just these enamel dots are from my stash. They're from all over the place. I was so fortunate quite a while ago to find uh, someone getting rid of a bunch of enamel dots and I got I think I got 20 or 25 packages for a dollar each, which is so cheap. Uh, so I split those with my friend Tara, and I'm still using them. So that's pretty, pretty amazing. I love this photo. This is a photo of my husband's grandparents riding bikes in Holland. It's so fun. I just love it. It just captures just captures the lifestyle, I guess. <laughs> I don't know what, it, it's just, it's so amazing to me. So I had a lot of negative space, a lot of space to fill on this uh, side, and I have a thing with words, like I just don't want it to be too word heavy, and I want colors to match and it to look balanced, so I decided to bring in another seed package that has the same uh, yellow flowers as the that strip of paper on the right hand side and it just I, it kind of got lost on the pattern paper so I decided to mat it on some of this uh, black houndstooth paper that you can also see on the right hand side and to just make it make it more interesting I just tear a little strip off the bottom just to add some more texture and I'm just going to layer that in behind the label and that card is done. So now I still have two, um, two filler cards here, and so I'm going to kind of start, I'm just flipping back just to kind of see what things I've done already so I can kind of repeat the same uh, types of embellishments throughout the album. I really like things to be cohesive and, and work together, and it kind of bothers me. Uh, personally, if I don't repeat elements throughout a project or throughout a layout, and so that's why I kind of keep flipping back and forth. So because I had done this previously, I used this piece of ephemera and I punch a hole um, in it just using a cheap dollar store hole punch, and I tie a bow with the Baker's, or it's not Baker's twine, I keep saying that, with the yellow twine, which I received in a, a Studio Calico kit quite a while ago. I use a sticker from the sticker sheet and back it with white cardstock and just fussy cut around it, add it on there, and then add some more enamel dots just to add some more interest. And it's pretty plain Jane, but I like having somewhere to kind of rest your eye. Uh, there's a lot of photos in this album, and it's just nice to have something kind of simple and pretty to look at as well. So I kind of played around with using that uh, cut apart that I have not yet cut apart uh, with the tiny little squares. I just kind of wanted to add a little bit something to this card and I also thought about maybe adding just some white cardstock just to kind of brighten it up a little bit but it wasn't working. So because I have used these tags, these shipping tags from American Crafts DIY collection Previously, I thought, hey, why not? I'm going to bring it in again. Kind of bringing in some more of that kind of manila beige tone uh, to the layout and just kind of brighten it up that way. And then I have this kind of stash of shipping tags off to my right uh, off camera there. And so I reached for those just to see if I could build a kind of a cluster of labels or sorry, tags. And I happened upon this yellow one, which I got from uh, Paper Issues. They actually sell them kind of a la carte, so you can pick and choose 
the different colors of shipping tags that you want. So there's yellow, there's pinks, there's blues, there's all kinds of colors you can pick. And then I had this green one, which is from the Atwell collection, which came out uh, quite a while ago. So I just kind of layered those up and then added a star uh, uh, sticker which I backed again on the white cardstock and it just seemed a little bit plain so I brought out some roller stamps and I believe the roller stamp that I used is from Studio Calico uh, I forget the collection name but it had uh, the phrase family and happy heart and I like the way the family one turned out, but the happy heart one just did not look good. So I used my tab punch from uh, Stampin' Up and just cut a scrap piece of paper. And then I use a scrap piece of a journaling label that I have kind of off to the side. Um, and uh, layered that up just to cover up my mistake. And then I'm fussy cutting a sticker uh, of a flower and just laying it on there. Not my favorite card, but I think it works. The yellow of the shipping tag is a little bit bright for me in such a subdued tone uh, collection, but it still works for me, and it's done, and that's all I care about. All right, so now on to the, I believe this is the last layout for this video. These photos are starting to have uh, photos from when they moved to Canada. So the two portrait style photos there are actually passport photos of the two eldest boys. Uh, and then uh, the two 4x6 photos, or sorry, the 4x4 and the 4x6 photo on the right hand side are photos from when they moved to Canada. So we're just kind of making that tr transition now. I love this photo of my husband's aunt. Uh, she's just standing in front of like a wall of 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 uh, vines and florals and stuff. And so I thought it paired nicely with this orange uh, floral paper, and just kind of added a branding strip there to add some interest and a place for the label to sit. And then add some enamel dots of various oranges, and call that done. And I think I'm, yeah, I'm going to play around with where the photos are right now just because of the way that I had attached the labels. It seemed like all the labels were in the same location, so I wanted to kind of switch it up. Or the labels were too close together, so I just wanted to switch it up a bit. And I removed a 3x4 card there just because it had a pattern paper on both sides. I removed that and added a sequin pocket just to add something different and uh, kind of save me the, <laughs> the hassle of doing yet another filler card. I think it's kind of fun. It's kind of at like almost the halfway point in the album, so it's kind of fun just to have something different. Here I'm making like a huge, huge mess of this label. Um, on its own it was kind of plain and so I wanted to bring in some more orange to the side of the layout so I'm using this cut apart from the 6x6 paper pad and uh, layering the label on top but when I peeled the label it the adhesive is so permanent that uh, I had to be really careful peeling that up and uh, it looks it doesn't look so great in real life but I tried to cover it up with some enamel dots. It's it's on there and it's done. And uh, in the grand scheme of things, I don't think anyone will notice. All right. So again, trying to bring in some more orange. So I just had this scrap piece of the floral, and I'm just layering it up. When I am uh, adhering the four by four photos, I'm trying to place them in different locations on the cards so that they're kind of uh, not all in like a really straight line like they're not all centered on the card they're not all off to the right or off to the left it's kind of a mix for this filler card I kept it so simple I just used a branding strip that you see with the stars there and a piece of ephemera and I fused the pocket off screen with my fuse tool and call it done so you can see it's getting a little bit fat and I'm a little worried, but I'm going to keep on pressing on and get it done. Thank you so much for watching, and thank you for all your sweet comments last video. I really appreciate it. We'll see you soon. Bye.